Right now at five, Operation Cold Case, a local man shot and left dead for more than 30 years, 30 years ago, has new hope in finding those who are responsible. We first introduced you to Jimmy Smith last month when he spoke at the city of Jacksonville's Victim Rights Month event. But as News for Jacks reporter Jim Pickett shows us, Smith learned something else that day. The state attorney wants to look at his case again. While arriving home in his Arlington apartment 32 years ago, Jimmy Smith's life changed forever. He was robbed, attacked, and shot, left paralyzed. No one has been caught and charged with the crime. Since then, Jimmy Smith has made major changes in his life. Now, with the Jacksonville's Disabled Service Division, he offers help, hope, and inspiration to others. He shared his story with us and others last month. Afterwards, he says State Attorney Melissa Nelson gave him new hope. She had mentioned to me that she was going to reopen my case and hopefully bring someone to justice. How does that make you feel? Well, that is great news because um, 32 years ago, I'm just minding my own business and someone watching me at my own least expected time, someone jump me, rob me, and shoot me three times, leave me for dead. There isn't much information about the crime that night. The gunmen were masked, descriptions were vague, and Smith's car was stolen and later found burned. No fingerprints, no clues. Even though I forgive the people who did this, I still would like to see justice served, you know, because it, it was a senseless act of violence that, that altered my life forever. Smith says this gives him hope, and even though it's a cold case, he believes there's a chance it could be solved. I would like to thank Ms. Melissa Nelson for reopening the case because they could easily keep it as a cold case, but I thank them for doing that for me and hope we could bring someone to justice for this. 32 years, do you think they can find out? I mean, do you think there's any way they can find out? Um, well, with the technology today, I think they could find something. Um, it's, 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 it's probably a long shot, but I'm, I'm grateful that they're going to give it a try. You know, I've been talking to the state attorney's office about that this afternoon. What they're doing is actually reviewing this case. They're going to go back to JSO, check the files, and see if there is any information that has been overlooked, what they can do, and possibly, possibly come up with some leads in this case. For now, we're live downtown at the state attorney's office. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.